डब्लू के द्वारा जो ये आपने डॉक्टर्स डे पर चिकित्सा दिवस पर इस कार्यक्रम का आयोजन किया है मैं आप सबको हृदय की गहराई से आप सबके प्रति आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ कंग्रेचुलेटिंग द इंटीग्रेटेड हेल्थ एंड वेलबींग काउंसिल फॉर दिस यूनिक जस्टर to honor the doctors and other people in the medical community who are the most dependable resources to fight this pandemic aaj dinon mein bhag liya hai to sabhi ka main dhanyawad karta hu aur day ke avsar par duniya ke sabhi doctor ko bharat ke sabhi doctor ko main shubh kamna deta hu aur din badhai deta hu jai bhim jai bharat i would really say the doctors have actually risen to this challenge in this unprecedented times and that is something which is very heartening not only in our country but at a global level dr hema divakar uh, dr chandra and i am trying to you know structure the conversation around what dr chandrakant has you know pandav has you know set the tone about so holistic health is something which he is saying that we should look at as a holistic health and we at isw council also try to propagate the whole agenda of holistic health which is not only you know going to only the physical uh, you know the the the, the uh, being of yourself the body your your body or but the environmental issues the the food the water you know air everything matters for that uh, you know for your health uh, how do we actually apply this concept of holistic health for women do we really apply any holistic health concept for women or it is primarily you know a, a, a health support at the time of child birth largely do we have this similar holistic health or if we don't have how can we get you know when we uh, have uh, the all the inclination dr chandrakant uh, you know is is emphasizing on it dr lakshmiya is talking about it that the nutrients is making the 60% of the disease burden so do we have a way forward for that and how we achieve it okay. namaskar thank you yet again kamal ji and uh, uh, for the initiative of uh, shapat all of us have resolved that we take the shapat that we will be positive with the covid positive patients because as doctors you've heard over the last two days how helpless we feel many a times where the gap is between knowing and doing that you know the, by the sheer uh, uh, overwhelming uh, pandemic situation that we have we can't do our best in the middle of this little things that you do matters for example you mentioned dr panda he kept on you know when you were introducing the panelists this you're just encouraging us to do this you know that and then he also said humko man mein shakti dena so when we say you know holistic it also means the resolve that every human being every individual takes and has the strength to endure because you have extended the doctors day from one day to a week and dr panda says it should go on forever and forever and every second all of us are now in touch with the ground reality it is not that covid starts today and ends on a specific day it's not a full stop it is a continuum and we have to better learn to live with it okay so what is the kind of uh, holistic care that we give to our women and children when we say treatment it's not just the technical treatment or medical advice the word treat according to me when you go to a sari shop for example or your restaurant how the, how are you being treated there they like, you know what is the kind of a rapport that the uh, you know person over there in a the restaurant or a sari shop strikes with you and that is what is more important as dr pandav said that it's a history and the dialogue and the communication and the uh, compassion that we show which goes a long way and incidentally he mentioned about imta that is Indian Music Therapy Association about 20 years back I was a member of the AMTA American Music Therapy Association and I was refused a visa to go to the US because they thought that when I was invited there as a faculty I'm just using it as a devious route to relocate myself into the US that was it. so we got the such holistic therapies around and I would battle for the maternity care when you said everything about childbirth that is a matter of human right 
because a woman who is becoming pregnant and procreating the human race it is not a disease process she is fulfilling her biological responsibility with all the due risks so whether in public or in private setting like right to education she needs it as a basic human right to be fulfilling her role pre pregnancy during pregnancy and beyond pregnancy in this entire journey in a holistic way with all the prompts that meera ji has mentioned with every pillar that uh, dr pandav has said yes it has started with iodine he has left a legacy behind in his successor dr kapil yadav who heads now the preventive and social medicine department of aims who is battling for anemia mukta bharat which is also a part of shapath initiative having said this public facilities you to strengthen the supply side and therefore organizations like artists for capacity building private patients expect the moon uh, even though you know they have everything it's like uh, the demands are huge so we can balance this somehow or the other and put our best efforts because every little thing counts just as how we say every mother and child counts and i would end by saying women's health is nation's wealth and thankful to ragwendra and step 1 who have made us take that step 1 by reaching out through genini and uh, uh, this is just the beginning of the 1000 day long journey so we wish the best of luck for ourselves and i will stop here because as you said the next panel i will have a chance to deliberate and reflect so on much. what we can do thank, thank you thank you so much dr hema uh, wonderful thoughts